and welcome to our first episode of our Run to Walk Challenge, where I am going to run and cycle from Land's End, which is here, all the way up to John O'Groats, which equals about 900 miles and the length of the UK. So I'm doing this challenge to raise some money for my dad, who has just lost the bottom half of his leg after some COVID complications. Over the next two weeks, myself and Heather will be living out of our nearly finished Luton conversion as we make our way north. If you'd like to support our challenge, then you can find more details below. Here we go. Okie dokie, well that's yarn off. Now, I'm doing all the behind the scenes stuff. I'm going to go find a park up to get ourselves settled, do some chores. We'll see Yain after he's done 15 miles. So... Yeah, just over a half marathon for today's morning run and then he's going to be on the bike this afternoon while he gets kind of warmed up to the whole challenge. But yeah, let's hit the road. Miles are hard. So, yeah, yeah, just just about to 15 miles. No, was it 14, 15 more tuppies? Yeah. Now we're in the refuel station. About to get some lunch on. Lunchtime, baby. Let's get it. Mm. <laughs> that was needed. Food required. Yeah. Hi, Biz. Check. Cycling nappy. Check. Buggered knee. Check. Check. Goggles. Check. Gloves. Gloves. Check. Oh, bus, bus, bus. Okay, go, go, go. Shoes check. Thanks. Shoes check. check. Bye, bye. Yeah, I and myself have been doing the share location function on um, WhatsApp for me to figure out where he is. And as you can see, he is getting closer. So I'm waiting for him to appear at my window on his bike. So are the dogs. <laughs> Cooper's waiting. Aren't you, Coop? Oh, I can see a flash of yellow. Hello, hello. Like my water carrier. <laughs> You've been carrying that with you the whole time. You dropped me off and I still have my Crocs on. Oh, I, well, I thought the bus was going to pull in and it actually didn't in the end. Yeah, I know. I uh, yeah, just rode all the way down the main road with a Croc strapped to the back of my bike. Well, it worked. Like a lunatic. <laughs> then I got down to Portree, looked at your location, back at the top of the hill. Yeah, there was nowhere really to park down there. But it's nice here, look, in the woods. This one's watered yeah. and we are about to get fed. So we've got some Nando style chicken cooking up top. And then below we've got our little vegetable roast tray with some carrots and peas and tatties in there. So cooking up a feast. Snack time. Yeah, this one's pretty hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> it's absolutely starving. Do you want that pasta pot? This might be a while. Yes. Thank you, darling. Don't say I'm not taking my administrative duties seriously. She is the best, <laughs> apart from forgetting my crocs. If I had had to ditch them today, there may have been a divorce on this YouTube channel. Oh, right. Then you know the truth. Over crocs. Over oh, crocs. <laughs> my special crocs. It has been a long day. Bye, everybody. So. We got Nandino dinner with a vegetable medley with a side of 
Kara and Nate. And we're about to have a tasty dinner. See you tomorrow. Good morning, people. From morning. a windy rain spot <laughs> in Portreath. Well, just up the hill from it anyway. In a muddy <laughs> forest car park. Yes, indeed. I am quite tired, but feeling a lot better than last night. Um, had some food, gonna have a coffee, and then I'm gonna get going after I give the dogs a quick walk, so I should be on the road by kind of half eight. Uh, 100 miler today on the bike, hopefully, um, which seven I think is gonna take me about seven hours. Yes. Um, so I'm not gonna really have time to stop much, because I'll if I leave at half eight, I'll get there at like half three, and if I get there much later than that, it'll be getting dark. That's cool outfit, bro. You look like you're getting ready to be a Power Ranger. Yeah, stops the nipple chief. <laughs> <laughs> This is the process. Just one wheel comes off now. Oh. There we go. Has the bike got a name yet? Uh, yeah, fucking Bane of my life. <laughs> Bane. 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 <laughs> Bane the bike is out for another day. Number two. The GoPro sadly doesn't sit on here. Snacks, pump. Two waters, multi-tool, phone, waterproof gloves, hat, goggles, boots, waterproof booties, red ass. We're good. <laughs> okay, here's the read for today, folks. Okay, so we're going. It's a biggie. From Portree, all the way up to Exeter. <laughs> Stopping off in the middle. Yeah, there. See you in 50 miles! He's off. Just pulled in up the road a bit to see if I can catch him going by. We really need to get his GoPro sorted for you guys so you can get some on-the-bike action. But I'm sure he'll be coming around the corner any minute. Ah! I forgot! Oh, okay, people. So a lot has happened since we last talked. Um, I got a phone call, I was in Tesco's doing my Tesco shop and I got a phone call from Yayan saying my phone is about to die, can you, I sent you a link to my new journey, can you come and pick me up for lunch there? I was like okay, I can do that. And then the phone kind of just disconnected and I tried to ring him back um, and it didn't quite work. So then I got to Lottie and I tried to take her over and it went woo, woo, woo. But I was like oh no, this is the worst timing, I can't get a hold of Yayan. I'm in a Tesco car park, it's a Sunday, so um, I then have a, a phone call from Yain's mum, because Yain's mum's number is the only number that Yain can remember, uh, saying that he he wasn't going to make it even to the place that he had sent me on WhatsApp, so he'd had to stop at this random garage, um, and he was going to be waiting there for me. Rang up every garage, mobile kind of garage, going, none of them could work on a Sunday, and couldn't get the parts on a Sunday, so everything was going wrong, um, and I just decided I'm gonna to have to go and ask some random person in this car park for help. So I went and I knocked on <laughs> some man's door uh, and said, hello, uh, do you have a tow rope so you can tow me so I can try and bump start this vehicle? Um, he, his clutch had just gone, so he was like, okay, I'll see if I can knock a hammer on your start motor and see if that works, and it didn't. Um, so he had a friend called Lee, who um, came down very kindly and turned the key I turned the key again and it started. Um, miraculously, the van just started and he explained to me why, but that's kind of gone now, but I've kind of got a quick fix. That and park on a hill, um, which is Tom's advice. So I'm now going to collect Yian and hopefully he's not going to be too mad, wet and hungry. But yeah, what a day. I literally just saw Yian on his bike going in the opposite direction on this road. So something's happened. I'm gonna go over this overpass and try and catch up with him. Ah! We found him. Only like two hours later. What the bloody heck? Oh, bloody heck indeed. Are you limping? Oh, oh my knee's sore, but. Hey, buddy. Hi. What you up to? Uh, just washing the bike and washing myself. <laughs> Very hot shower. Woo. 
demon. Ow. Birdie hop. All the people of Cornwall are wondering who this abandoned cycler is who's just having a shower in their car park. <laughs> Screw up. Spend a lot of time in this town today, yike. Yeah, they know me. They know you. You're basically a local now. Oh, nice hot shower. 60 is probably too hot for me. It's boiling hot. I think 55 might be my uh, temperature. <laughs> That's way too hot. It's amazing how much better a warm shower makes you feel. Just just having a shower in general makes you feel like 100 times better. We will eventually have a shower over there. But yeah, this, that'll be, that'll be nice. this is a pretty good solution. <laughs> and it makes you keep it sharp. Oh yeah. Sharp, quickish. <laughs> Pop it back into the tap. Zoop. Shower done. And today's Mexican it's cottage normal, pie. Normal cottage pie, but with very Mexican inspired salad. <laughs> And to be honest, it's got a Portuguese twist as well because I'm planning on putting a good Nando dollop of Nando sauce, sauce online. Yes. Thank you, darling. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Get a look at that. Well, that was surprisingly delicious. Mexican Portuguese cottage pie is definitely on my recommended list. <laughs> it is Sunday today and we are in not a dead spot for 4G, but not a great spot either. So Van Life Reality we're going to head five minutes down the road to a McDonald's so that we can get on the Wi-Fi. And McFlurry. <laughs> You'd recognise them anywhere. Spotted. Fellow van lifer. Nice van. Oh, good bike rack, bro. Do you reckon Lottie would fit through the drive-thru? Uh, nope. <clears throat> Thank you, McDonald's. Wi-Fi rock and rolling? Yeah. Nice. Turns out the golden arches have failed us and it only went up another 5%. Yeah. So we're back to Lottie, back to the original spot because at least it was going faster there. Good Drive McFlurry though. Day three on the challenge. Let's see how today turns out. <laughs> Bikes all set, yarns all set, dogs are doing crazies. Yeah. Sounds about normal. Okay, today our extra precaution measures. Yeah. One multivitamin, one electrolyte, <laughs> soaring, <laughs> bank card, charger, charger. <laughs> headphones, headphones, phone that's got long battery life. Yeah, different phone. Um, and I've got a GoPro. And a GoPro. So hopefully today will be disaster free. <laughs> Off he runs for his last poop. This is the first leg for today. So three and a half hours, 40 miles and that will take him halfway to Taunton, which is our stopping location for tonight. Yarn's quite a physically fit person and everything that he's kind of done throughout his childhood, throughout his adulthood, everything, um, he's kind of proven that it's in spades really. Um, like when he was at uni, he kind of captained his university and country, so the Welsh students team, to the World Cup in Australia. And then obviously well, me and Yarn met when we were at Xanders and that's kind of renowned for being a tough place. I think it, it's given a little bit more credit than it actually deserves, but uh, like it does test your mental resilience. But the thing with kind of both the rugby team and Sanders is there's a lot of you in it together. And he's done one ultra marathon before, but I think this is kind of testing him more mentally than it is physically. Because this is a complete solo challenge. Just him out there for seven hours a day, cycling, 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 14 days in a row. So um, yeah, it's pretty tough. Isn't that right, Cookie? Yep. <laughs> um, you were ages. What? Yeah. I had to get my whole leotard off, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Graceful as a swan. <laughs> Just need an engine on this bike to make it much better. If any of you see the yellow and red <laughs> cyclists coming through, make sure you wave. You might need a helmet, dear. My Crocs. Would I forget your Crocs? Always. <laughs> Don't leave them behind. Okay, get out of here. The most important thing ever. Bye. Bye bye. See you in three hours. I'm not that mean. <laughs> Okay, buddy, we are off. 
off. It's day three for me. Uh, and I'm about to go on to the dual carriageway. So, let's hope I don't die. Okay, so, first stint on the dual carriageway. On the A30, not going too bad. I've got my own little kind of lane. It's not really a hard shoulder, but it's a small hard shoulder, which is perfect for me. Cycling down. Um, I've realized it's actually safer on the dual carriageway than it is on the tiny little A road with the speed that I'm trying to do. Um, when I'm trying to like manage 20 mile an hour on small blind corners, I've almost been run over a couple of times. On the dual carriageway, people have got loads of room to go past me. A smooth road surface makes huge amounts of difference. I can fly along average kind of 20, 22 mile an hour when the road is smooth, when the road is bumpy and horrible. On to Hevercam. While Leon has a leisurely cycle, I've got a lot of stuff to get done. Obviously his phone is crapped out, the battery is terrible and because we're trying to upload videos in this vehicle it's absolutely draining our data. I've got 30 gigs and yain has got 20 gigs and both of that's gone now so we need to get Yain a new phone essentially. So I'm off to Exeter to EE to get um, what's meant to be the best kind of phone for van lifers and people who are trying to upload on the road. We're going to hit the road, get to Exeter, get a phone, get to the lunch spot, make Yain a wrap that's enough to be getting on with her out. Let's go. The part about having a Luton van that has probably made me the most dubious or nervous is trying to get through urban areas. So I've just been on Exeter's um, satellite view map, trying to find an outdoor car park that hopefully has a lot of spaces that I can park in to get to EE, to get Yai in a phone, so that we don't have a repeat of yesterday. So I found one. Hopefully, at least from the map, it looks good. That's that locked in. Here we go. Another reason why dual carriageways are awesome. big uphills <laughs> and now I'm cycling up the best part of a two and a half three mile uphill so swings and roundabouts still better than the little road so I'm cranking out miles yeah super scary seeing Yain cycle on this massive road look how fast these cars are just zipping by but he was cycling along his little hard shoulder and I just pulled into the parking spot here um, and I can see him coming over the hill this was the massive hill of today it was huge looking at it on the map we'll see how he is when he gets to the top there he is I'm so glad he's got that high vis because it makes a massive difference <laughs> Those mountains in the distance, if you can see them, are Dartmoor. So that's Dartmoor National Park. Those are all the tours. So we are making some ground today. It's cool to start seeing things, I know. Soon we'll be going over the Seven Bridge. Yeehaw. My research paid off. Found us a nice little car park. Got as close to the wall as I could. <laughs> and this is where Lottie will be. While I head off to EE. E. So that is the phone sorted. Now, quick 18 minute drive after I find Lottie again to get back to Yain and make him some wraps. Let's go. Okay, so I'm on a road right now, still on the A30, but I've noticed there are like these optical illusion roads where it looks like I'm on a downhill, but I'm not rolling any faster and I'm having to pedal as hard as I can just to maintain speed. So this road is either flat or even slightly uphill, but because of all the landscape around me, it looks like it's going down. Very
very confusing, very annoying. <laughs> it really gives your legs a workout because you're trying really hard to go faster. There she is, my girl. I swear, being in the city just reminds me of how much I love the countryside. I'm so glad I don't live in the city. I am not a city person. Okay, let's get on the road, go find Jai. Okay, come on baby, let's start, huh? Start for mama. Start for mama. I'm definitely on my toughest hill yet. By far the longest. And I think it goes for another half a mile yet. When you see the signs that say slow lorries for half a mile, I know that means slowy iron for half a mile. Ah! Made it to the top of the hill. I got about 10 miles till I get off the A30. And then it's not too far till my halfway point, so I'm not doing too bad today. Should have parked on a fucking hill. Come on, Lottie. Come on, big girl. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, that was so close. Okay. I get over that hill. I've never done a bump slide before, but I'm never going to bump slide it. That's where we've got to, folks. How to make a bad start motor work one more time. Let's see if this is going to be juice for us. That's useless, I don't have a starter switch. You can catch it, but listen. That's the hum of a miracle because she is up and running. Holy bloody moly, guacamole. Let's get moving. In gear, maybe. Oh, I can't live like this. This is not a way that any person can live. So I just pulled over in uh, one of the little pull-ups on the side of the dual carriageway uh, just to swap my water bottles over and grab a snack. And you wouldn't believe it that every time I fucking pull over, when I'm cycling, fine. Whenever I pull over, I'll be looking at my feet or looking at something, and I just rode into the curb, <laughs> fell off a damn bike as I was stopping. I did it yesterday as well. Such a mom. Right, back to it. Dual carriageway complete. Now just a little bit more work to the halfway point. Not too much. First leg of today, 40 miles, brought me to this town, which is Crediton. It is very pretty. Now we're just waiting for Heather to arrive. Um, she's been in Exeter trying to sort stuff out, which is about 15 miles away, so she should be here any minute uh, to come and bring me lunch. We're back in the situation again because I needed to get fuel. So I've just met Yain for lunch. <sighs> Had to turn it off, put fuel in. Here we go. Someone thinks this is really funny. How are we looking good looking? Having a good laugh to yourself, are you? <laughs> Me and the shop lady. Harsh on my vibe, people. Harsh on my vibe. Hard. Come on, Lottie. One, two, three, right. go. It's a no from her. <coughs> okay. So we're gonna push it backwards, and then we're gonna push forwards again and see if that works.
my god. Oh my god. I can't do this every day. I honestly can't. It's coming back around for me. Don't turn it off! No, no. <laughs> I saw your hand going for the keys. Guys, because of all that calamity, Yain didn't even get lunch made for him. Yeah, stressful. Smart little boy didn't even get a wrap made. He had to buy his own lunch. Stressful day. Can you believe it? But I'm making me a, a wrap. You're not making me one? Is that not mine? No, you just had lunch! <laughs> <laughs> well, on the plus side, everybody, the more important thing... New phone! <laughs> new phone day! New phone day! New phone day! Google Pixel 6, bruh! Okay, I'm back on the road after the kerfuffle with Heather. So a bit later than expected, but getting it done. We've got 30... Wait, my sat nav's just changed to 40 miles. I'll have to check that, but it should be 30... Kind of just under... should be about 35 miles to do today. I've got my headphones in. So I've got a podcast on, which is definitely going to help. And I've got the new phone, so hopefully the battery will last much longer. A much different cycle this afternoon. Back on an uphill now, but all country roads. Nice riding. Google Maps, back to its old tricks. Taking me down public footpaths. However, this one did cut off. Well, it made my route 30, like 35 mile from start to finish instead of 45. So <laughs> that one footpath was worth it, even though it was fairly treacherous. <sighs> Okay, that was my first properly steep hill for like a, a long period. Good challenge. Good challenge physically, especially at the end of a 80 odd, 90 mile day. 16% incline. Um, I'm feeling good. I liked, I liked the challenge of getting up there in one go, especially at the end of the day. I think that's, if you can uh, push through that, sort of stuff like that in this challenge, or if I can. And I suppose it relates to everyone. If you can look at little things like that at the end of the day and see this kind of 1,000 meter, 16% <laughs> incline and go, do you know what? I'm not getting off the bike. I think that's a good lesson to learn. So I like doing little challenges like that now and then. But it was hard. <laughs> so I've now got eight miles till I finish the day. Heather's up there, we're at a campground. Heather's stopped there, she's got like kind of washing and stuff ready to go. So that'll be nice if I have all fresh kit. I'm gonna get some food when I get back because I'm pretty hungry now. I'm getting pretty tired. So hopefully a good end to the day. Oh, I'll see you all when I get there. Well, made it finally. It's a long old slog. I made it to this real nice campsite, I think it's called uh, Cornish Farm. The, the people here are really, really nice. Um, so the couple that own it are a fellow Welsh couple of Joneses, and uh, they just they just welcomed me in as I got here. Told me where the van was. Had a, if I needed anything, I was welcome to it. So really, really nice. The saga continues. <laughs> Last night, all of Lottie's power bank died, and we don't know why. And obviously, the easiest thing to do would be to start her up and get the battery to battery charger running. Uh, but she won't start either, so <laughs> go take the dogs on a walk, get some fresh air, and then we've got some proper brain, brain power. Try and figure this one out. Things are still going our way. <laughs> Guess what? We're pushing again. We are booked in at a mechanics today, just so you guys know. This isn't what we plan on being our permanent solution um, forever with Lottie. I actually fancy a little bit more reliability, shockingly, in my life. This is hard. 
road. Glassy. Hardest one yet. drive out of this campsite and leave you. This is a nice campsite and to be fair they're very accommodating for us on our starter motor, starter motor issues. But we're going to leave you for today's vlog. Catch up with us next week to see a new new woman Lottie who starts every time we hope after Tom's had his way with her and um, yeah some more cycling, running, dinners, dogs, beaches, park ups and injuries, calamities, you name it, we got it. See you yeah. next week. Bye everybody. Thanks so much everybody for watching to the end of the video. Uh, we really appreciate the support and all the help that you guys have given us. Uh, if you would like to support me on my journey and would like to donate, the link is in the description. Um, if you have nothing to donate, that's absolutely fine. Please just give us a like and a comment and say good luck. Uh, and it means the world to me just to see the comments. Um, so thank you very much. See you all in the next video. Off goes Bike Man and Bane for another day of shenanigans. If he can clip in. This is painful to watch. There we go. Bye, honey. <laughs>